the stories of the kids that come in here um, are, are not something that, you know, as, as adults that we could probably even fathom. Uh, we know that they have been removed from their homes for very specific reasons. Sometimes that's physical abuse, psychological abuse, sexual abuse, uh, unstable, totally unstable environments. Our father left us, and uh, my mother, uh, there were six of us, and uh, she tried to keep us together, but uh, there was no money coming in. Uh, we lost everything that we had. We didn't have a roof over our head, and so she turned to St. Joe's, and St. Joe's opened its arms to us and uh, provided a haven for us. I lost my father in 1940. My mother tried to keep us together, and she, but back then it wasn't any social security, any aid of any kind, and mother did housework, cleaning and stuff like that, and it was four of us. And finally she had to give up and put us into St. Joseph. I was here from 44 to 47, that summer I was visiting my brothers and two sisters, which, which was still here at St. Joseph. And Sister Rita asked me if I was, I was told her I was looking for a job and she told me to go to Plains Bakery. And I went up there that Sunday afternoon and I was hired and uh, I've been there ever since. I went on to his work in the Plains as a manager back in 57, 58 became a partner of it in 1980. It changed my life all around. Well, my husband, when he was four years old, his family had a crisis, health crisis, and he came here with four of his siblings. He received two toys, he told me, and a lot of attention, and this was a safe harbor for him. And he decided he would go to medical school, and against all odds, he saved enough money to go to medical school. He was doctor of the year, uh, the last year of his life uh, in, at uh, John C. Lincoln Hospital in Phoenix, Arizona. The, the cards are stacked against these kids, but immediately when they um, come to St. Joe's, they are greeted by a case manager and their therapists and are given a safe, secure environment, uh, a place to sleep, food to eat, clothes to wear, and that's the beginning of the hope. St. Joe's gives our children hope by helping them physically, uh, you know, by making sure that they have their needs met, uh, food and, and, you know, all the necessities, but also by making sure that they know that we, are, we stand behind them. These children need for not only to learn to hope for themselves, but we need to have hope for them. Many children who, who now are prominent citizens within our community have spent many years here and they've been successful, they have raised families of their own and have had careers. These children show up at our front door, sometimes with everything they own, and have come from very distressed and troubled environments. And we're able to stabilize their lives and ultimately see them uh, grow and emerge at the other end of the process, either to be reunited with their families or into one of our foster care or adoptive homes. For over 150 years, St. Joseph Children's Home has served the children of Kentucky. We are planning to do so well into the future. To do so, we need a new home for our kids. Our current building is 125 years old and does not meet our current needs. Our plans include four state-of-the-art cottages located on our current campus. This new environment will help our kids recover more effectively. We solicit your support in this endeavor. We have to 
work for, plan for, and expect the very best for these children. It changed my life all around. There's always hope. St. Joseph needs you. I need you. We need your help.